Don't get the Fairmount Pacific Rim. They already bought my bags up before I even checked in. That is cool. <gasps> this is so nice. And there's the waterfront view. And I guess the city of Vancouver. That is over there then. That looks like a city as well. Anyway. Desk. Bed. Like I said, my bags, I checked in earlier, but my room wasn't ready. But they brought my bags up when they were ready. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, where's the lights? <gasps> Night light. No? Oh no. <gasps> Let's go a little TV. And this is how I turned it on. So you got vanity. Oh, 100%. So there's all the lights. So the bathtub, shower looks amazing. Toilet, sliding door. Look at the floor. Look at the mat. Oh, this bathroom is gorgeous. can pull that out, sit down, I can do my makeup, robes, hair dry. Oh. And then, yeah, you just slide that door shut. Lights, you know what I might do? Have a bath and watch TV while I'm kidding and you can go like 50% it's 100% it's all the lights 50% lights off but what's this night light all right so it's just there I just got to Vancouver and I'm gonna relax for a little while and then I have a concert to go to one of my cousins is performing here so I'll do that tonight and then in the morning I've got a hop on hop off tour and then tomorrow night I fly back to Australia but in the meantime let's keep just sussing that this room no way Gosh, uh, I don't, don't think I know how to use that, but I don't know. I'll try. And then I've got. Oh, it's even got like clean room privacy. I don't know. Maybe tonight it'll work. Was it? Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So if you're staying for a bit longer and had dresses and or business suits, you could probably. Yeah. So yeah, that's my little. I don't want to too much mess around with it because I think there might be. Okay, that's a. Th that's the air conditioner. 18.5. It's probably 18.5 outside. <laughs> so yeah, that's my little room tour of the Fairmont. Nice comfy bed. So yeah, I'm going to say goodbye for a little while and I'll check in later because I'm exhausted and 
Yeah, I just want to relax. I love this. Uh, I found this bit of paper and it says activity guide, so I'll definitely scan that in my directory. What's that? Oh, that's the menu. That's a bit... Right. I found this little book thing here underneath the remote. So I went like that and it's like, turn me on and it's got all the channels. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Right now is I'm going to go through the channels and see if there's something cool on TV. I forgot to show you this. There is actually more to this hotel. There's the, um, like a chair. Oh, oh that's... What's this? Is that a skateboard? Oh, it's a fridge with a... So it's got the key. Oh. It's got the key in. It is fully stocked, so you've got your coke, your alcohol I suppose if you want to drink. Not my style, but that's okay. But they've got my jam. They've got my Diet Coke. And regular Coke, and then Canada Dry. What's this? Oh, it's ginger ale. Is it alcohol? No. Oh, I might try that later. But let's just go through them. Oh my gosh. Look at the name of it. That was so funny. And then this one is called... Oh, this one is called Beautiful. I like that. What's this one? Oh, it's named after... St oh, Stanley Park Brewing. Wow. It's got their own brewing company in Stanley Park. And then they've got, oh, I do like this. This is non alcoholic. This water is really, really nice. Really like that. So I'll get thirsty later. It might be, oh, what have we got here? Okay. I bet it's really, really nice and expensive. So I can just stay at the bike. Another one. I don't, don't know what it is, but. Probably really, really. Oh, spring water in a tin. That's awesome. I need to check the prices though of this little mini bar thing because I have a feeling it's going to be quite expensive. But I cannot believe that has the key. Because I thought that there must be a fridge here, and then I'm like. Yeah. No way. Oh my gosh, I just opened this drawer. Oh, it's still coming towards me. One second. Okay, so. Open the drawer. We've got our herbal teas, sugar, stirrers. <gasps> Love them. A kettle. Cups. Cups. Nice. Oh my word. Canadian whiskey. Someone told me that that stuff is really good. It's like sweet whiskey. I don't know. Dry gin. I don't drink gin. Well, I don't drink alcohol, but you know. <gasps> this is so ex so nice. Oh, this I've heard of. <laughs> Chocolate chip cookies. Honey mustard pretzels. Oh, jumbo arms, jumbo cashews, and then this is an ice bucket. The ice is literally the next door over. So I'm happy about that. So yeah, I mean, oh, so what has it got? I have mixed drinks about feelings. I have mixed. Okay, to view the menu bar, scan the code. Oh, the prices are probably there for that. So I might actually pull that out. Keep that up there. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, so I was just mucking around with the drawers. Pulled this one out and I just assumed this one was empty. So, this had a drawer too. Yes, it is. Wow, there's so much storage. 
mean, this is good for a family too, like if you need your storage or whatever. Beautiful. Oh, gorgeous. And then I've got like a little thing there, nice leather headboard, desk. Oh, that's a little reading light. Oh, no. Oh, okay. I pressed shears. <gasps> and that happened. Okay. Drapes. Let's go. Let's go lights off for a minute. Okay, so literally all the okay, they're all off. Uh, bed left. Ooh. Bed right. Let's go. Lights off. But let's do our drapes. And our shears. Who would have known that would have even existed? I wonder if there's one on the other side. No, there's not. There's a PowerPoint. But I'm quite happy with this. This is really, really cool. I can't believe this though. See if it's an actual TV or if it's just like the weather. Um, maybe channel? You gotta be joking. It's an actual TV. Like, watch this. Nah, I can't believe that. That's crazy. I saw Lush down town too. I should have got some. Could have had a nice bubble bath. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna lay down on my new big bed. That's not my new, but it's you know my new hotel bed. Welcome back to the vlog. Um, today I've got a hop on hop off bus tour and it's my last morning here in Vancouver so I'm going to go and get some Timmy's and figure out where I need to meet the, um, the bus and pick up my, my ticket. So I hope you guys can come along for the journey and come and explore Vancouver. Pretty Vancouver. Uh, on my right hand side is the uh, miniature railway here in the park. Uh, this does run all year. I believe it's going to be open. It, it normally opens on the weekends now. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, my daughter's friend is getting married, and I was talking earlier. On my right hand side is basically right on the corner a great Lebanese uh, 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 place, a little coffee shop called the Yasma. I'm a guy, and by guy law, you have to drive through the puddle. You have to drive through the puddle. It's a, a guy rule.
So I got some soup and bread, I got broccoli cheddar and it came with this and a fresh lemonade. So let's try it out. So that concludes pretty much all of my Vancouver adventures. Um, the Fairmont Pacific Rim, highly, highly recommend. It is pricey, so um, I've only booked it for two nights, so that's probably more than what I can afford anyway. Um, so I got this off booking.com, but what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description below because this has to be one of the best motels in um, Vancouver. It's one of the newest, I believe. Um, someone was telling me, a taxi driver was telling me that it's one of the newer ones, so everything is, you can tell it's new, like everything is so modern, so slick. Um, the bathroom is amazing, like it's just so, everything is updated and the view is a million dollar view but um yeah I had a really good sleep last night the bed was amazing and yeah just I highly recommend staying here but like I said it is pricey so maybe a couple of nights um, next time I come to Vancouver I will be staying here too again because yeah it's really nice and I like it and it's so central to everything like Canada Place is over there, like just over on the waterfront and that's where I got my tickets for the hop on hop off bus tour, um, so but next time I come to Vancouver which I'm hoping is only in a couple of months time, we'll do some more stuff and I'll bring my family with me so it'll be more of a family vlog rather than a single, you know, female, um, sorry, solo female traveller. Um, yeah, because, I mean, my son would have enjoyed everything that I've been doing and I really want him to see Vancouver with me. So if you're interested, please like and subscribe. Um, you don't have to, but it helps my channel out. Thanks. Hey guys, so I just got back from my tour. It was a hop on, hop off bus tour around Vancouver. It was, it was so insane. It was so good. Definitely recommend the hop on hop off bus tours. I'll leave a link in the description below um, of that and a couple other bits and pieces that I um, really enjoyed doing around the city. Um, and yeah, I've packed up my bags, got my two personal items. I'm ready for the airport, but it's only two o'clock. My flight doesn't leave until, well, I mean, they start boarding at eight. So I was gonna go out there about four and chill in the business class lounge um, I'm so fortunate to have it um, but with all the traveling that I've been doing lately I think I just deserve a break and just to get in there and chill I've just made a little coffee from the little Nespresso machine that's in the room and um, yeah I'll either see you at the airport or while I'm sitting in the Business class lounge, oh, technically, it's at the airport. Okay, I'll see you at the airport. Okay, guys, I just found out that my flight got delayed. Um, it's 10.30, it's 11.15 p.m. That's okay, because that's just more time I get to spend here. On the lounge. Chilling. Watching the airplanes come in and out. Yes, it sucks that I'm forgetting to sit me a little bit later, but that's okay. 